There is no greater reward than saving the life of another. A group of young ladies in Jackson was taught that valuable lesson today at a camp for future first responders. News 10's Isley Herschel visited the camp and shows us how the program offers more than life-saving skills. A chance to learn the ropes of a first responder at a camp specifically for girls. I think it's great to meet other girls in this, whether we're going to end up working together or not. The future first responder camp in Jackson is offering 24 girls, ages 14 to 18, the chance to learn how to save lives. I think it's really important to get, like I said, to give the females exposure to the stuff that, and just give them that opportunity to, to be able to decide if this is what they want to do. The three-day camp teaches how to fight fires, work as a police officer, and what it takes to become an EMT with women in the field to guide them. We're going to do vehicle extrication where uh, the students are going to use the jaws of life. They're going to uh, advance a hose line, a truck, uh, take it into our training tower out back and spray some water. Jackson's assistant fire chief, Joe Smith, added that today's activities also include a search and rescue simulation where students must save a person while wearing the proper gear. The hands-on experience with real equipment is not the only thing the girls are taking away today. They'll also gain mentors from the female leaders. We're always here to help because obviously as women, we're here to, to better each other and we're, it's not a competition. We're here to help you know each other and build each other up. I think it's great to just see some people who have already been through this, whether they had a hard time or not, just to learn maybe not what to expect, but how to help each other through it. A chance for young women wanting to save lives to learn from others in the field. In Jackson, Isley Herschel, News 10. And this is the first year for the program. Jackson's assistant fire chief started it after people in the community asked if such a program existed. Well, let's head back out now to the News 10 weather patio. Colton has turned out to be a kind of a pleasant Tuesday evening. Yeah, that's right. You know, we did see the rain and storms from earlier today, and we just have some clouds around at this time, but we'll stay dry throughout the rest of the evening. So if you want to get outside,